Have you ever heard about STP? Well, we have two. The first one is the network switch protocol, and the other is the famous rock band. And maybe you're thinking, why are we talking about these two things? They're not even related to each other. One is in the IT networking world, and the other is from the rock music scene. Well, the two has a lot more things in common than you can even imagine. And this is what this video is all about. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am your cloud and data center rock star. And in this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Spanning Tree Protocol History The first Spanning Tree Protocol was invented in 1985 by Radia Perlman. By that time, she was working in Digital Equipment Corporation. If you think about it, 1985, we still don't have Ethernet switches yet. We only have hubs. These are the early years of IT networking. It's only after four years when Ethernet switches were introduced. And later that year, in 1990, IEEE published the first standard for STP as 802.1D, based on the algorithm designed by Ms. Perlman. It's only after 11 years when IEEE introduced the faster version of STP, also known as Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, and this is published as 802.1W. And a year later, IEEE published Multiple Spanning Tree Protocol, also known as MSTP, also known as MST, as 802.1S and later merged into IEEE.1Q of 2005. MSTP allows STP to run multiple instances and each instance can have a single or group of VLANs. This is considered the best options among STP version. Why? Because it's fast and with more features. There are also proprietary STP versions such as PVST and PVST Plus, and both are introduced by tech giant Cisco Systems. How does it work? Well, Ethernet switches local area network are often interconnected using redundant links, and this creates switching loops, resulting in broadcast radiation and MAC table instability. So the solution for loop-free redundant network topology is, guess what, STP. And how does it work to prevent loops? By placing few ports in blocking state. And ports with blocking state serves as backup links providing full tolerance if an active link fails. Here is how our spanning tree protocol operates. We have two network topology in our example, and we need to block ports in order to prevent loops. By preventing loops, we have now a more effective host-to-host -host communication in a redundant network topology without any issues. The Stone Temple Pilots History STP is an American rock band based from San Diego, California. They rose into fame as part of the grunge movement in the early 90s. The band's original lineup consists of Scott Weiland, Dean DeLeo, Robert DeLeo, they are brothers, and Eric Kretz. The band was formed in 1989, and they were originally named Mighty Joe Young. But when Dean DeLeo joined the band in 1990, they renamed to, guess what? STP. This is the same year when they also recorded their demo tape 
which features tracks that would go on to be re-recorded for the band's first studio album. Band's album and singles. You probably already heard some of their songs such as Plush, Creep, Vaseline, Interstate Love Song, Big Bang Baby, Dead and Bloated, Big Empty Sour Girl, and many more. And their top albums are Core, which won 8 Platinum, Purple won 6, and album songs from the Vatican Gift Shop, and number 4 also won Platinum. Awards. Their most successful song is definitely Plush. It won six awards. This includes Grammy Award for Best Hard Rock Performance and Billboard Music Award for Number One Rock Song of the Year. Interstate Love Song unfortunately didn't win any award, but nominated as Best Alternative Video, Best Metal Slash Hard Rock Video, Best Group Video, Best Cinematography in MTV Music Awards. Big Empty, however, won Best Song from a Movie in the movie titled Crow, released in 1994. The band has had 16 top 10 singles on Billboard charts, and 8 of which picked at number 1. Trivia. The band disbanded in the year 2003 and vocalist Scott Weiland was recruited to join the band Velvet Revolver, with Guns N' Roses members Slash, Matt Sorum, Duff McKagan, and Dave Kushner. It's not from GNR, I don't know him. It was a super group and they won Grammy Award for Best Hard Rock Performance. In 2008, STP reunited, made a self-titled album, and toured around the world including Southeast Asia, countries like Singapore, Philippines, and Indonesia. But due to Wyland's drug problem, the band fired him. But he's the vocalist who will sing now for the band. Well, he's replaced by a vocalist from a very famous band. You probably know him. His name is Chester Bennington from the band Linkin Park. Chester joined the group in May 2013, but left November 2015. Both STP former vocalists had a tragic death. Scott Weiland died on December 3, 2015, due to drug overdose. And Chester Bennington died on July 20, 2017, due to suicide by hanging. At the time of this recording, STP is still active playing and writing music with the new vocalist, Jeff Gutt. Connections They mentioned in many resources that STP was formed in the year 1989, but Dean DeLeo wasn't part of the band until 1990. This is the same year when STP was first standardized. STP is a rock band based in California. This is also the same state where Kalpana Networks, the company who introduced Ethernet Switch, is also based from. Both were so popular and much appreciated in the 90s and 2000s. Both are practically dead. For STP Network Protocol, why would you want to purchase these extremely expensive switches if you're not going to use those ports you connected? In a good network design, we use link aggregation, also known as Ether Channel, together with VSS or Stackwise, or for data center networks, you will probably use VPC or MLAG. The point is, no more block ports. For STP band, Huge part of band's downfall was Scott Weiland's well-publicized struggles with drug addiction. So kids, don't do drugs. Though both are considered dead, their legacy will remain forever. STP will forever be part of many network certification exams, such as Cisco CCNA, CCNP, Arista, 
and many others. STP will forever be one of the greatest bands in the 90s, one of the gods of grunge and alternative rock music. Would it make sense to listen to STP songs while you're studying STP when preparing for your certification exams? So in the background, you should hear something like this. That one is for free. Cheers. 